Welcome back, everybody. Patrick here. Moving on to the next question. If vector A plus vector B plus vector C is equal to zero, magnitude of A is two, magnitude of B is five, and the magnitude of C is seven, we have to prove that A dot B plus B dot C plus A dot C is equal to negative 39. Now, we did a similar proof before, and we showed that if A plus B plus C is equal to zero, then usually what's going to happen is there's going to be a triangle if three vectors are in equilibrium, like that. However, this only happens if the magnitude of the smaller vectors is greater than the magnitude of the largest vector. But in this case, notice how the magnitude of the smaller vectors, so two and five, if you add those up, it equals the magnitude of the larger vector. And when that happens, the only way that um, the three vectors can be in equilibrium is if we draw them all on the same line or if they're all going in the same direction. So if this is A and then this is B, right, 2 plus 5 is 7, what's the only way to get back into equilibrium, to get back to the starting point? Well, if we draw C right on top, so let's draw it right on the bottom actually. like that, right? Does that make sense? So whenever the two smallest magnitudes of three vectors, when you add them up, equal the largest magnitude and the three vectors are in equilibrium, the only way that happens is on a straight line. Basically, there's no way you can draw a triangle if the two smallest vectors or the two smallest magnitudes equal the largest magnitude. So we know that our drawing in this case is going to look like this. So now let's get into figuring out what a dot b is, b dot c, and a dot c is. So let's start off with a dot b. Now a dot b, we know that's equal to what? The magnitude of a times the magnitude of b times cos of the angle in between A and B. And if you remember, this angle is when these two vectors are tail to tail. So on our diagram here, where are vectors A and B? Well, they're here and here. And if we put these two vectors tail to tail, the way they're gonna look is we got vector B here, the larger vector with the larger magnitude, and then vector A is gonna be right on top of it like this. Right? They're both going in the same direction. So what is the angle in between them in this case? Well, notice it's zero degrees, right? This vector A is not coming out, so there's not going to be an angle in between. So either the angle between them is zero degrees or 360 degrees. Well, let's just work with a smaller angle of zero. So what's the dot product going to be? Well, it's going to be the magnitude of A, which is 2, times the magnitude of B, which is 5, three times cos of 0. And cos of 0, we know is 1. 2 times 5 is 10. So we know A dot B is equal to 10. That is the dot product there. So the dot product between A and B is 10. What about between B and C? Well, if we draw vectors B and C tail to tail, this is vector B here, this is vector C. So if we shift vector C up here, put it tail to tail, this would be vector B. And then this here would be vector C. And let's say they're meeting right there. So what's the angle between vectors B and C? Well, notice it is 180 degrees. So we know the dot product between B and C is going to be what? Uh, the magnitude of B, which is 5, the magnitude of C, which is 7, times cos of 180. And cos of 180 is negative 1, and then 5 times 7, that is negative 35. Right, and then finally, A dot C, 
what's that going to be? Well, same thing. A and C, if we draw them together, so let's say this is A, and then this here is C, the angle between A and C is 180 degrees as well, because A is going in the same direction as vector B, and then uh, vector C is going in the exact opposite direction. So magnitude of A is uh, 2, magnitude of C is 7, and then the angle in between them is cos of 180. So 2 times 7 times cos of 180, that gives us negative 14. So we got the three dot products. And notice that when we sum them all up, so b dot c is negative 35, a dot c is uh, negative 14. And when we sum all of these up, we indeed get negative 39. So negative 39 we get on both sides. And so we proved this equation here. Right, so just recognize that when the two smaller magnitudes equal the largest magnitude when you add them up and the three vectors are in equilibrium, the only way that can happen is along a straight line. So you add the two smaller magnitudes and then the largest magnitude is going to go right in the opposite direction and you end up at your starting point. If the two larger magnitudes are, uh, or the two smallest magnitudes, if you add them up, they're larger than the greatest magnitude, then it's going to end up being a triangle. So for example, if this A instead of 2 was 4, so we had 4, 5, and 7, well, in that case then, we would have to draw a triangle. So these would have to be sort of slanted up. So we'd have A, we'd have B, and then we'd have C, like that. Right? But if uh, a plus b is equal to c in terms of the magnitude, then you have to bring those down. It's just going to be all along a straight line. And then the angles between the vectors are either going to be 0 or 180.